Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Pat Paris. Heidi Alaga has the night off. Researchers at the University of Arizona are making major strides in developing new and innovative ways to diagnose lung disease in the early stages. Nine on your side, Shandrea Thomas has more from the experts. Associate Professor Ruslan Rafikov and Dr. Olga Rafikova are researchers at the University of Arizona. The duo has been working on ways to help diagnose lung disease at earlier stages. They've been on the project for the last few years, and so far the results are promising. We can see a very severe changes in the metabolic profile before the disease actually shows up. The team has been able to create a unique fingerprint, also known as metabolite, for pulmonary hypertension. It's a condition that causes high blood pressure that can affect your heart and lungs. On average, uh, I think it's a statistical uh, data that people to recognize pulmonary hypertension, that they struggle on average for years. So basically, when normal cells become diseased cells, the metabolic process will change. All it takes is a blood sample and artificial intelligence programming to get the data needed for a diagnosis. The changes are specific to the disease. So we're calling them disease fingerprints. Those changes are specific to the disease. And if we can detect that pattern, then we know that the disease is present. 45% of Americans have at least one chronic disease. Researchers teamed up with TechLaunch Arizona to create a new startup called Metfora to help them move their work into commercial use. And this is a great example of fourth industrial revolution. It's kind of the blurring of the lines between the physical, the digital, and the biological worlds. It's also been discovered through the process that women over 40 are three to four times more likely to have pulmonary hypertension and might not know it. But an earlier diagnosis can help save treatment time, money for patients, and lives in the future. The team is currently looking at COPD and other diseases to help find new solutions. We take the time it takes to get to a proper diagnosis from years down to weeks or days. Shandrea Thomas, KGA 9 on your side. With women over 40 being three to four times more likely to have pulmonary hypertension, you may wonder what causes it, what are some of the symptoms and how to look out for it and maybe even if you can prevent it. Let's take a deeper look now. The CDC says pulmonary hypertension happens at all ages, including children but the likelihood of having it increases with age. So what causes it? The CDC says different diseases like heart, liver, and lung disease could be a cause along with high blood pressure and blood clots in the lungs. Your genetics also play a role. The CDC says at the start of the disease, symptoms are common to other medical conditions like difficulty breathing and fatigue. So a lot of the time, diagnosis is delayed until more severe symptoms show up, like dizziness, chest pain, ankle swelling, or feeling your heart racing. So what can you do to prevent pulmonary hypertension? The CDC says it can't always be prevented, but you can take steps to prevent it by making healthy lifestyle changes like managing high blood pressure and other diseases.